the vision. Evangelizing community, serving God, humanity, and all creation. The mission. We, the Church, the family of God in Southern Africa, commit to work together with others for the good of all by responding to the cry of the poor and the cry of the earth through worship, proclamation of the word of God, formation, advocacy, human development, and care of creation. Why a pastoral plan? A pastoral plan helps and guides us all to listen and respond to the leading of the Spirit, to enter into the Father's plan for our church and our world, to be missionary disciples of Jesus in the present and to let the Spirit guide us into the future. The Pastoral Plan's Focus Areas 1. Evangelization Personal relationship with Jesus is fundamental to the Pastoral Plan. All other areas flow out of this foundational experience. 2. Laity Formation and Empowerment Laity, by their very vocation, seek the Kingdom of God by engaging in temporal affairs and by ordering them according to the plan of God. 3. Life and Ministry of Priests and Deacons Priests and deacons have a special calling to serve the people of God. 4. Marriage and Family Marriage was not instituted solely for the procreation of children, but also that mutual love might be properly expressed and that it should grow and mature. 5. Youth Young people need witnesses and teachers who can walk with them, teaching them to love the gospel and to share it, especially with their peers, and thus to become authentic and credible messengers. 6. Justice, Peace and Nonviolence Action on behalf of justice and participation in the transformation of the world fully appeared to us as a constitutive dimension of the preaching of the gospel, or, in other words, of the Church's mission for the redemption of the human race and its liberation from every oppressive situation. 7. Healing and Reconciliation It is God's grace that gives us a new heart and reconciles us with Him and with one another. Christ re-established humanity in the Father's love. Reconciliation thus springs from this love, it is born of the Father's initiative in restoring his relationship with humanity. 8. Care of creation and the environment. The situation of planet Earth and the consequences of the indiscriminate exploitation of creation call upon us in the Church to live and practice the Gospel in our care for creation and the environment.